Introducing first, from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C., she is the money, Renee Michelle. the bells we get set for this special ladies night out presentation here at hurricane pro wrestling title match network the money renee michelle going one-on-one -on -one with the warrioress cc chanel thank you for joining us i'm sammy kiss i'll be calling all the action here tonight it's not the first matchup between these two they had a tag team match at hurricane pro's last event where cc chanel teamed up with heather monroe to take on the vipress and renee michelle this is their first one-on-one -on -one meeting. It should be a great contest here tonight. The Warrior, CeCe Chanel, a corner striker. Gotta believe that Renee Michelle's gotta stay out of that corner because that is really the game plan of CeCe Chanel. She's a clean fighter. She's not gonna take any shortcuts here, but if she's able to back up Renee Michelle, it might be all over quickly. Don't count out Renee Michelle. She does have a background in MMA. She's been training since she was four years old. She's very deceptively strong in the area of MMA. Jessica Rabbit meets Sherry Martel is how she's described herself before. And you see that wrist lock from Renee Michelle. Nice change, start this contest out here for Ladies Night Out. The best women's division action you'll find is right here on Title Match Network, because Renee Michelle taking CC Chanel down. Oh, we got a one count there. CC in control here. Renee Michelle since return to Hurricane Pro Wrestling has had a great record and looks to build momentum towards another shot at the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. We'll see who wins out between Heather Monroe and Lady Frost. So Renee Michelle gets that bottom rope and now shouting, demanding. The referee calls separation to see Chanel again. Showing respect, letting go of the hold, no problem. And now Renee Michelle telling the referee that she grabbed the hair that lack of respect that Renee Michelle is known to show for her opponents. But CeCe trying to not let that be a big deal, showing respect here with hands stretched out, have a nice clean contest. But Renee wants nothing to do with it. Swift kick to the solar plexus, now drops CeCe down. Yes, Chanel always wants to have a clean fight where Renee Michelle wants to win at any means necessary. And if you look at that, Renee Michelle arguing that that's what CeCe Chanel did earlier, grabbing the hair and then draping the throat across that middle rope. Renee Michelle taking any corner she can take. Bringing the Warrior S. Now whipping into the opposite corner, but Chanel cuts it off. Open oh, and sunset flip. Here's the cover. And only got a two count. And as the back roll up goes for cover again. Oh. Shoulders might not have been up there, but now CC going again, trying to small package, rolls her up again. Inside cradle. Oh! And there's a code breaker, drops down CeCe just like that. Now Renee 
Rochelle dropping. Warriors face again and again in those turnbuckles from the top to the bottom. And now screaming again in the referee's face. Let her do her work. And he's got to get Chanel out of those ropes. Back at the center of the ring. Looking to push her up for a suplex. Snap suplex beautifully done by the beautiful Renee Michelle. Got a one count. And there's a chin lock. Renee Michelle taking CeCe Chanel to task. It was Heather Monroe and CeCe Chanel who got the victory in that last contest against Vipers and Renee Michelle. You know, Renee wants to return the favor, get a big win here tonight at Hurricane Pro for Ladies Night Out. Oh, and CeCe dropping Renee down. And now Renee in that corner. I told you about CeCe now when she's got someone in the corner. That is her game. This is her wheelhouse, and this is not good for Renee Michelle. And so Five Count had to create some separation there, or she would have been disqualified. Renee Michelle, no pun intended, is on the ropes. That boxer background. CeCe Chanel takes Renee down. We got a two count. CeCe confirming with the referee that was only two counts. Has to keep that momentum going. Stay on offense. Gets the ropes for momentum. Renee cuts her off and a big boot right to the face from Renee Michelle. And now the money almost flustered there from that offense from CeCe before. Now raining those forearms on the face. Again getting in the referee's face. Renee Michelle Irish whip. Chanel drops the knee on Renee. Takedown again. Just like that, Chanel back in control. Oh, and there's a big spinning kick from the money. Goes for the cover. That is it. O'Neill returns to Ladies Night Out here on Title Match Network, and we're here live in the AML Training Center, brought to you by Tracy Myers and Brian Hawks. Thank you so much. Again, we got Amber O'Neill returning to the ring, and I do believe this might be Casey, Fo Casey Fox's debut. We'll see. I guess we will see, because we're watching right now. Dang it, I talked over the bell again. God, I'm, hey, I'm learning, I'm learning. But again, this is a tall test right here for Casey Fox. Amber O'Neill, she don't play. She's been in the game a long time. I'm gonna tell you right now, that ain't Catwoman, that's that woman, yo! Big time, boo, she ain't playing. She ain't got time, she's trying to get to the pay window. Oh, big time strike right there from Amber O'Neill. I'm gonna tell you right now, Casey's gotta get out of this. I watched Janai Kai literally eat her lunch at an AML wrestling show one time. She cannot weather the storm. She's gotta get out of here and put momentum together. She needs moves and abundances. I know words. Hey, the flexibility of Amber O'Neill. There you go. Hello. Tough crowd. Big whip and reversal right here. Casey Fox with a cartwheel back elbow. Another one. Snap in the mare. Okay. Whoa! Hook those legs, hook those legs. Oh, she would've hooked them, she would've had her. She could've stacked her. But it's okay. She's got momentum. Casey Fox, see I haven't seen this look in her eyes before. I wanna see these hard physical strikes from her. I know Casey Fox has this within her. 
She's so shy and resilient. Like, oh man, she just got put down. Amber O'Neill is not playing. She is a wily veteran. She'll snatch that head right off your hair, girl, if you ain't quick. See? Told you. Ooh, kick to the back. Yeah. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Lord Chow. Oh, she's got a nice full Nelson up. Back in the day, we call that a uh, old master lock time. Yeah. Here we go. Fans getting behind it. If Amber O'Neill, if she sinks in those hooks, this could be it. Casey Fox, she's got to get out of this. This girl's always in trouble. Oh, snap. She said real here. <laughs> she just tried to play a veteran. She just tried to. <laughs> She ain't playing, you don't disrespect the vet. Amber O'Neill don't play. That's the former bullet babe for a reason. Oh, nice bridge. This could be it. She let go. She should have kept it on her. I would have never let go. Casey Fox, if people are getting up for her. Amber O'Neill has done a great job of keeping her off her feet. You hear the people rocking, they're stomping. They want Casey to do something. Get to the ropes, show some fire. We wanna see it. The people are begging. Please, girl, show me something. Oh, quick cover, two, okay. Let's go. Oh, you thought. Not today, bullet bait for a reason. Amber O'Neill's a wily veteran. Again, Casey Fox, she, she finds herself in these precarious predicaments and she's always on the wrong end of some smoke. Everybody, we're, we, we, we love Casey. She's got a beautiful smile. She's got a tremendous heart. But she's got to find this dirty, dark path and let the hate flow through her. Casey Fox is to let something out that's just so horrendous that she's just gonna put you know what on their back, okay? She doesn't need to take crap. I, I hope you hear this back. I hope you find the fire. Because right now you're being extinguished. Amber O'Neill ain't playing. She's eating your lunch in your hometown. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Big time strike from Amber O'Neill. Boom. She got about 14, 15 years in the game. She don't play. Amber O'Neill's a veteran. We got a duck of the clothesline. Big time spear. This is what we need. This is what we need. We need that house of fire. We need that fox fire. She needs to get up, show some passion, and put some beating on this girl. Let's go. Don't let Amber O'Neill get to her feet first. I'm a very passionate man. I love when pro wrestlers find themselves. But again, you can't stay stuck in a rut. There you go. Big time strikes. Send her off. Whip in the reverse. Big time clothesline. Didn't catch all of it, but she got enough. There's another. There you go. Big time back elbow. Didn't get all of it, but she got a little bit. Big time kick. X factor. Cover. One, two. OK, there we go. Got to fire her up. She's got to stay on it. There we go. Oh. Oh! Foot on the ropes. Amber O'Neill. That's a heartbreaker, man. This is it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the Five Points Championship. That's right. That tournament. The inaugural. The inaugural, yes. Inaugural. That's inaugural fun. championship. Hey, come here. No.
good English. Really? It's like perfect. This will be no disqualification. No DQ is right up Masha's alley. Steve Pena is going to die. <laughs> Dino calling like he sees it. <laughs> This is it. These two have had a lot of heated words. Big slap. Oh, my God. Oh. Big kick to the stomach from Steve Pena. Big shot. He's fighting. Oh. Big. Oh, my. What? Look at Steve Pena. Yeah. Beat there him. There you go. Beat him. He's he's still still him. Him. There you go. Oh, he still got her. Oh, he still got no, her. No, she's not down. She's No, she's right back up. Oh, wow. She what a kick. He's caught him. Blasa Saido, nope. that's one of his big moves. Oh, the backhand. Backhand. Look at the power. Whoa. Just deadlifts him. Oh, my God, oh, my no, God. No, 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 no. Oh, my Pena's God. Pena's on the outside. And Pena running away. There she goes. Oh, gosh. Corkscrew dive by Masha Slamovich. There you go, to Masha. Start this Get match him, off. Masha. Beat him. Beat him Fast down. And furious. That is the theme of this match. Oh, is Masha looking for a dive? No, 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 oh, no Masha, out, don't out. do it, don't do it! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The hell is wrong with you? Shit! What is wrong with you? He may have knocked her out, he may have knocked her out. What a shot! Steve no. Pena, he bent the chair in half! Did you see that? He didn't bend shit, her head bent the chair in well, half! Well, there you go! Oh. That's gotta be it. No shot. Look at the bridge out for the pin. Masha Slamovich. I mean, if that shot had occurred in the streets, Pena would be doing time. Yes. Big oh. call line. Here's that series Big of Big to the back. Steve Pena, oh relentless God. in his goal to become the first ever five point oh. champion. Oh. Big oh. Oh. Come on, Masha! Feet. Come on, get up! No! Barely kicks out. Pena's you have firmly. to be worried about Masha slamming well, it at I, this I, point. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to give her her space. She's in there, but I, it's just driving me crazy. What a shot, man. Steve Pena, an equal opportunity ass kicker. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh. oh my gosh. Steve Pena showing that mean streak, saying he can one-up Masha Slamovich. Come on, Masha let it mean. go. Pena might be meaner. There's nobody meaner on the planet than Masha Slamovich. She just needs to get up and show him exactly who's boss. And Pena's firmly in control after that chair shot. Steve Pena popping uh, up. Uh, Belly to oh back, gosh. suplex on the Come apron. On. Showing how vicious he is. Yeah, and that's how you, uh, and he sits down wisely. Yeah, Pena doesn't look like he's joking around at this nah. point. He, he might actually take into account. Oh, there you go. Masha, there you go, Masha. Your stomach. Yes. Oh, God. There you go. Big shot to the chair to the back. Just so that They're silver. They're going to break the chair at this point. There you go. I'm going to choke him. You want a power outage? You death. might as well earn it. There you go. Choke him out. She's choking him to death. Kill choking him. him out with it, the cables it's to the not, lighting rig. It's not murder, it's wrestling. <laughs> they Listen, they both want it. Oh well, Marsha wanted goodness. her to kill, she got it, and she's giving it back. Yeah. Big forearm from Masha to Pena. Big oh forearm from C. Pena to Masha. They're killing each other. There is no remorse. What is Pena no looking for mercy now? from either one of these two. This is the fight we all expected it would be. Pena looking for something, and I don't want it. What? Oh, crap. Oh, like, where the hell did he find a kendo stick? Masha, watch your back, Masha. Watch out. See, Pena got a manic look in his back. Oh! oh! No! Steve Pena. I mean, this is the most manic. This is the most aggressive I've ever seen him. This is the C. Pena that I think we all are gonna go to know. Oh, stop it! Steve Pena does not care. 
He knows how much this title means. It is in the history books. It is history in the making. He could be the very first five points champion, and he does not want to be denied. Steve Pena is still bitter about the loss at the last Battle Club oh. show. Masha fighting back. She says, no way. Oh. Those, those shots, she must be a little weak. You have to admit, she's been taking a beating in this match. Uh, any, any normal competitor oh, Big shot for Masha, no, no doubt. Oh my goodness. You see that? Like with Pena, when he throws they're, those chops, it's form. It's it, a lot of form. They're like, beating the shit you, out of you, each you've other. You've heard of something called strong style. Huh? This has blown that away. Yeah. This is way beyond that. This is personal, <laughs> this is a beating. This is the fight we all knew it was gonna be. There's no denying. Round one was good. Round two will be even better. Yes! Big German suplex yes! to Masha out of nowhere! Finish him off! Oh, looking for that knee! No, 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 no! German! Big German suplex receipt from Steve Pena. Is the finisher close to finishing this match? Masha Slavovic says no. He blocked the that. behind. Big oh right to the back goodness. of the head. Come on, Masha. Both, <laughs> both athletes down, down at the moment. I can't believe this match. Joe, can you Masha, believe it? I cannot. Masha, Masha, Masha. No matter who wins this match, both these two earn their right to be in the finals of this tournament. Yes. Looking for that pin. Oh! Just a two count. A this two goes. count. Pena There's is still frustrated. Some, still some fight left in Masha Slamovich. She will not be denied. Up kicks. Oh! Running knee from Masha Slamovich. Whip to the corner. Hard whip, running full steam ahead. Yeah. Jacuzzi kick there in the corner. Go. Going for the big kill with the big spinning heel kick. Cover him. Go for the cover. Him. Lateral Here press. Here we go, new champ. Big kick out Woo. from Steve Pena. This close to having our new champion. And Masha saying that's over. Powell drive him straight to hell. Gino got on his go. feet. I haven't sat down. Well, yeah, I've not sat down all the once with Pena told you to sit down. Oh my Big headbutt head from Steve Pena. Saeed oh my God, he dropped on her head. <sighs> Pena with his patented Saeed Oplex. Will this be enough? Oh. Last second kick out. Gino's about to have a heart Jeez. attack, hopefully sooner than later. Oh my God. Come on, Masha. You got this. Pena's got nothing. Pena. Look at, I mean, you gotta give to Pena. His positioning is nothing. excellent, man. He looks like he hasn't broken a sweat. He's scarred up, though. Oh, welts yeah. all over his body. Oh, yeah, look at that welts in his back. Yeah. I'll tell you, at the end of the day, by this morning, when these two wake up, they are gonna know they were in the fight of their lives ah. tonight at Battle Club oh. Pro. Code breaker! The way these two are going, I'm not sure if one of them is going to wake up tomorrow yeah, morning. I, I, good point, good point. Somebody might not survive this match. Good point. Oh, 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 no, 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 Pops right out. Steve Pena goes front face lock into a chokehold. No, 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 no. Is that tapping? No, 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 she's telling him no. No way, no way, you're gonna have to kill her to have her. Go behind, waist lock, head butt. Oh, Tiger Suplex. Tiger Suplex! Yes, pin him, cover him, it's over. Is this it? Kick out! Oh my god! Oh, I can't believe this match. These two showing why this title is so important. Big oh chop to the god. back! Is she good? Coquita clutch! It looks like he's going for the Coquita clutch! Come on! Choke hold here! Hit him! Pass back no, up no, no, on no, her no, back! No. Pena has to be careful. That's a pin. That's a pin. Count His it. shoulders are not down. Count it. Down. Yes. Kick right out. Oh, watch her. Dragon Masha. sleeper. Dragon, Dragon sleeper. sleeper. She's dragging him. Getting it. Oh. oh. Big kick to the back. Yeah. Oh, that 
Big knee to the back of the head. She needs to go for the pin. She needs to go for the pin. Count it. Count it. New champ. Oh. Oh. He just kicked out. Pena I doing the right thing, pushing aside Masha, so that way she does not get any more advantage than she already has. It is anyone's ball game at I this point. I can't believe this damn match. There we go. Still some kicks in there for good measure for Masha. Oh Simon. Slap, what sign of disrespect for Pena? Kick him right in that snaz. Grabs the foot, what is he gonna do? Oh my goodness. Big shot slap. again. Another slap. Oh, puts right on her neck and shoulders. Pop up. Power oh, bomb. Kicks out. Last second kick out. What is it going to take, man? What is it going to take? Masha oh Slavovich showing the fighting spirit of a two warrior. Last one. Jesus! Is this Good it? Night. Oh my god, she kicked out! I can't wow. believe it. I can't believe it. Steve Pena, look, look at Pena's face. Steve Pena's face is that of disbelief, Joe. Gino, I can't, I can't, he, can't, believe, I can't this. believe it. I thought that was it. I swear to you, I thought that was it. Where the hell is Pena going? Come on, Masha! Get up, Masha! Where the I think, hell is he going? I, you know what, man? I gotta be honest. I think Pena's making a mistake here. He's giving yes. Masha enough time to breathe to collect herself. What the hell? What are you doing? Uh, Who is that? Who is he's that? He's taking apart a table now? What is he doing? But why? I don't know why he would give her the opportunity Another, to get back here. Uh, more ch he's, he's, he's collecting got, weapons. Oh my because God. What he knows, the hell is he doing? He's, he knows he needs weapons to take her down. I, I got it. Masha go. asked for the no DQ match. I mean, she did. She got it. What are you doing? Stay here. Stay here. Let the bite. Like, listen, man. She could defend herself. She's showing that she can. Get what, pick up the chair, Masha. Pick up that chair. What is going on here? What the hell is he doing? He is inviting her to have a seat, and they are gonna go shot for oh shot like you have never seen before. See, Pena shutting up those chairs. No, they're not. What is he going to do? Pena. No, maybe they're not gonna go. Oh my God. Pena. Ref on Masha refuses to give up. Look. Pena He's showing that in. brutal side to him, the sadistic side that I've never seen in all the years I've been seeing him. Oh my what God, are you going for? This? No, no, no. This Don't is do dangerous. this. Don't oh do God, this. What the hell is this? Masha Slam. Oh my God. That was aimed at you. Is this it? Will this be the final nail in the coffin oh no. of Masha Slamovich? Oh no! Despite, wow, Joe. Holy shit.
player. Three years in a row, the main title for the company has been on the line. Rise of the Vixens won. You had Rachel Rose, Roxy, now better known perhaps as Roxanne Perez, and the Insidious One looking to unify the RWR Vixens Championship. Last year, Rise of the Vixens 2, you had Nyla Rose, Rachel Rose, and Amber Rodriguez fighting over once again the RWR Vixens Championship. And tonight at Rise of the Vixens 3, the VWR Championship is on the line. That is right. For the However, first time ever in a one-on-one -on -one competition. I was just about to say that. Luckily for Hyon and Kylan King, I guess, it is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And there you see one of the advantages that Kylan King has, and that is the size advantage. That's not cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's one way to get taller. That's Hion. one thing. One He's thing I being respect. Being resourceful. One thing I respect so much about Hyon is exactly how outside the box she is willing to think. Oh no! Oh. Immediately into a cover. Good job on the part of our referee to go from holding up high on to counting very quickly. Thank God Isaac might be the most in shape referee in the history of referees anywhere. I would completely agree with that statement. And there you see the technical wrestling acumen of Kylan King working the arm, maintaining control. Hyon able to maneuver out of it into a headlock. Kylan trying to power out of it. Trying to use that advantage of hers. And that's one thing you've got to be on the lookout for in this match is each woman trying to play to their advantages. And each one of these women has so many different... Oh. As we said, both of these women have so many different ways they can beat you. But this is what I want to see in VWR. Two of the best in the world going at it, fighting over the top championship in the, com in the company. Hyon, who is world traveled, has spent time in Japan, in the United Kingdom, as well as all over the United States. We're proud to have her as a champion, and we are so happy that Kylan King, who is probably one of the best uncontracted talents on the independent circuit coming in to challenge for this championship here tonight. Absolutely. The fact that either of these women in the middle of this ring right now are uncontracted is just shocking. I know it's mind-blowing, isn't it? Both amazing competitors. And what you, what you can say about both these women is that they know their worth. Both of these women may not be signed to a major contract, but they anywhere they go, know that they are the great white shark of whatever company they are in. And if nobody has been able to recognize that talent, recognize that level of talent yet, that is on them. We are so lucky to be able to see these two going at it here tonight as Kylan goes for the leg. That is right. And both of these women clearly done their homework. They have, both these women have a catalog of matches <laughs> in the title match. They seem evenly matched as well. It's the main event of Rise of the Vixens 3. We wanted a main event that people would go back and watch for years. So two women at the top of their game. This could be anyone's contest. As much as I throw, as Hyon goes for a cover, as much as I throw my praise towards Hyon because she is our champion, Kylan King has a very good chance of walking out of here as the new champion. So strong is the momentum that she comes into this match with. I know you've said that she's very decorated in gold as well. Definitely. Seems to attract gold like a magnet wherever she goes. That could be the case here tonight for VWR. 
That is right, and as proud as we are to have Hyon as our champion, Kylan King would also be an amazing champion. Nothing against Hyon. You all know I love that girl, but. That's the thing we about would this. Be. That, well, that's the thing about this title. Everyone wants it, and some people <laughs> will do anything to get it. But if you look at the work ethic of the women in the ring right here, that is right. Both of them, er, they've earned this. They have earned the right to be in the main event of Rise of the Vixens Three. Hyon wants to be the most dominant champion ever to come out of the state of Texas. I would say she has a very good leg up on that title. I can't, think right. of, I can't think of any other Texas talent with the pedigree of Hyon. Oh my As goodness. As Hyon drives her knee into the spine of Kylie King. You also have to remember Hyon just coming off of a challenge for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship on AEW Dark Elevation not too long ago. That's one thing you have to respect about Hyon. She never settles. She is the top champion in BWR, but she wants more. Again, I talk about that work, that work ethic. Again, she's a fighting champion and she's a fighting competitor. Hyon always willing to grind. As Kylan has her hooked up, snap Ooh. suplex, center of the ring. That is right. Hyon has been going for titles a lot as of late. Just in the last month, has gone, has fought for Rachel for two of her titles. And I'm wondering if that's more a desire to pick up gold or more of a desire to put a boot in Rachel's face. It's really 50-50 at this point. And honestly, you know, it might be a little bit of both, especially considering what was witnessed at New Texas at Astroworld. Hashtag beat up Rachel Rose. And as you mentioned, that amazing contest for that Ring of Honor Women's Championship against Mercedes Martinez. Yeah, Emily, you and I were lucky enough to be there in person to Dang. witness that. Strong, strong showing from Hyon as she battles with Kylan King on the outside here. Right on that ring apron, precariously placed are both of them. Oh no. Oh! No. oh. And Hyon took a bad spill on that ring apron, courtesy of Kylan King. I'm the hardest part of the ring. You know, we say that, but I'm pretty sure the ring is the hardest part of the ring. It's been a while since I took a bump, but... But I, I can tell you, it is the hardest part of the ring. I felt it. <laughs> Kylan going after Hyon. Hyon trying to roll to the outside, catch her breath. We've seen Kylan do this before. Hyon tied up in that top rope. Kylan looking to turn Hyon's chest into hamburger. Oh, what a comparison for the, the wordsmith. Oh. Oh, she got her arm hung up on that top rope. That's, as I said, Hyon adapts to every situation. So, so good is Hyon. And she knows this ring. She knows this building. She feels comfortable in this building. Whatever pressure she may be feeling, knowing the pedigree of Kylan King across the ring from her, she also knows she owns this building. That is right, in very familiar territory. Defended many championships Look at in the, this building. The power of Hyon. Hyon able to hit her with that float over suplex. Hyon backing into the corner, looking to get some momentum. Goes for the drop kick. Kylan dodges, follows up with a punt kick to the ribs, and now an elevated camel clutch. Sitting down on the small of the back, adding torque to the neck. That is a precarious position that Hyon finds herself in here. And she is very far away from those ropes. Hyon trying to fight out of it. Yeah, Hyon trying to throw elbows, throw strikes to break Kylan's control. 
Oh. Oh, Ooh, that's one way to do it. Oh, there Sunset you go. Sunset flip into a cover. Gets a two count. Kylan counters. Two count. Counter by high on. Two count. Back and forth. Oh. There Roll we go. Up. One, two. Kylan pushes her off. High on ducks that clothesline. Oh, and they catch oh each goodness. other. What a hell of a clothesline on both parts. You know what they parts. say? Great minds think, think alike. alike. As both women are down here in the main event of Rise of the Vixens 3. It is just everything that you want to see in independent women's wrestling. Two of the best on the circuit going at it over the top prize in this company. And they are leaving it all out there. Hyon, Kylan, both trying to get to their feet before the referee reaches that count of 10. And they're up. Oh. It's just two brick walls hitting each other. Neither one refu neither one wanting to budge. That is right. Both of them, you, you can tell what this VWR title means to both of them. Oh, my goodness. And there it is. There. Vicious, vicious clothesline. And now Hyon's got her up. And plants her center of the ring. There's the leg drop. Into a cover. Gets a two count. No wasted motion. Still not enough to put away Kylan King. You just got to think, like, what else do they have in the tank? We've seen so much already happen in this match. It's like, what else can happen? That is right. Both women needing to figure out what they need to do to put the other one away to leave with that VWR championship around their waist. Oh! And there it goes. Missile drop kick off that. Oh! Running double knee. And a deep pin from Kylan King. Hyon had to power herself out of that one. Both of these women leaving everything in the ring. Kylan King pulling high onto her feet. Kylan, Kylan's got her up. Looking to put her away here. Oh, wow. Look at high on. Just stretched out across the back. High on. Grabbing that arm, being just like we said earlier, so resourceful. Very resourceful. Because who would have thought of that? Hyon would. Oh. Well, Kylan's trying to figure out a, a oh. defensive move. Looks like she got it. Yeah, Kylan. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Oh. Full head of steam into the corner, and now the kick. Oh, my goodness. Both of these women Those well regarded. From Kylan. Both of these women well regarded for how hard they can hit. Kylan trying to work some life back into that arm. High on through the rope with the shoulder tackle. Now high on Ascending. going up top. Kylan Wheatner there. Just smacking her back, jeez. And here comes Kylan running knee lift. Oh my gosh, right in the midsection. Driving the air right out of high on and now perched atop that top turnbuckle. That is not where high on wants to be right now. Oh, she's hung up. Kylan's got her exactly where she wants her. 
Now Kylan can pick her spot. Oh! But Hyon able to get a boot out. Oh! Hyon has <gasps> scouted. Wow! That is a reversal. Okay. Okay. Ducks the clothesline. Into a cover. One, two. And Kylan kicks out, able to get that shoulder up. Hyon going back to that arm. Trying to get an arm bar locked in. What a tremendous matchup between these two. This is exactly what I expected to see going into this. Oh, pin. That is right, Jacob. We expect nothing less from our fighting champion, the Renaissance woman, especially here at Rise of the Vixens 3. I've never seen High On give a bad performance. I've never witnessed Kylan King give less than 110%. You put the two of them in the ring together and this is what you get. Now they're fighting for the arm. And Kylan oh. has her up. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, what a beautiful German suplex. Right on the money as Kylan rolls back into the cover. One, two. And Hyon not only kicks out. She put her in a submission. Transitions. Maintains control. And now wrenches back. She needs, she needs, there we go. There, and she's there got it, it locked in. Locked in deep, Jacob. Locked in deep. We've seen plenty of people tap to this. Kylan desperately trying to get to the rope. Oh my God. Hyon grabbing on. the leg. Hyon knew. Oh my God. Oh. There it is. And There's that's it. Hyon with the submission. TitleMatchNetwork.com And that makes the, the anticipation for that match even more I'm great. I'm out here for a little storm. Ah. <laughs> a little cloudy. Right. Don't be a hater. I think there might be uh, some animosity between the two of them. Hard to believe. <laughs> you think there's like, any relation to the hurricane? You, you got J.C. Storm, the hurricane. I, I don't know. Or maybe James. Right? James Storm, yeah. 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 Might be, yeah. i definitely say James. i say James Storm, yeah. Maybe Tim Storm. Nice. Crowd into it. Here at the AML Training Center, Winston Salem, North Carolina. We thank AML Wrestling. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> got no win to break. A lot of people always try to wait to that four. I mean, they always say, oh, I got to five, but you don't want to have chances. You get disqualified. Could you imagine? They just disqualified her and that was it? Yep, that was it. That was the whole match. <laughs> nice collar and elbow tie up right there. So I, I was talking with both women earlier and they were both anticipating this match a lot because like I said, they've, they've always crossed paths, but they've never like ever crossed paths in the ring. So this is a small Oh, Ooh. a huge moment of JC Storm. Oh. Oh, there's a storm of brewing. She snatched her up right there and tossed it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, money. Like, you know, used her momentum against her a little bit. <laughs> Later. Made her look silly. <laughs> oh, see, that's what happens when you make somebody look silly. They try to steal uh -huh. on you, so you got to steal on them back. So we're having a little oh. battle. Oh, we got that battle of the river right now. So here's the thing I was told earlier is like a lot of people have always thought that Vanny is from New York, but she's actually from New Jersey. Ah. She represents New Jersey, but Jason Storm is actually from New York. So, you know. Ooh. A little, uh, little nice. tri-state uh, battle nice. right here. Nice little ankle pick right there from J.C. Storm. Oh. Ooh. Hey, well, Kentucky go for a schoolboy. One. Oh. oh. Just uh, that close. J.C. Storm was almost able to pick up the victory over Vanity. And she let her know that to her face. How does that feel? 
That's disrespectful. That's Wait, the Manny said she's pulling the hair. You know what? Come on. I don't want to say that. Nah, you don't talk about it. Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's definitely some animosity between the two of them. And I like that. That, that makes for a good dinner. Chase is trying to show a little sportsmanship. Because, you know, they're both blazing their own trail, trail their own areas, and now they're like, hey, what's up? Let's do the work right now. How disrespectful was that, though? She kind of slapped her with her foot. Exactly. Oh! Ooh, right in the oof. That's, that was for your disrespect. Beautiful hey. springing arm drag right there. Oh, both these women. Tracy Storm bringing the storm. Big avalanche hits the ropes. Oh. Big time spear. Oh, that was like lightning in a bottle right there. Oh. You got to think, had she covered her a little quicker, she might have, you know, maybe got a three. Uh, maybe. And see, Bandy on the okay. outside now because she, she wasn't expecting that. Bandy's hurt. Yep. Her pride is hurting right now. That's what she's mad about the most. She thought she was going to have an easy night tonight, but J.C. Storm turned that around. Randy, ah, very smart. She baited her in, but oh, she pays for it. She's able to block it. Oh, right in the bread basket. Oh, and a nice forearm to the back and the base of the spine. Ah, humble her, she says. And that's the worst thing you can get after you're getting that big forearm to the back of your shoulder blades. Now being locked in this camel clutch. Oh my God. Man, on the outside too, definitely makes it harder to get up and get back in the ring to beat a 10 count. And it also makes it hard for your upper back when you have to kick out. So it's actually a little bit of um, smart momentum from Vanity. Yeah, uh, baited her in, she like that worked out for her in the end. Tell everybody to shut up. She's, just talking about it. She's getting too cocky about it. Allowing her time to recover a little bit. Like you said earlier, sitting on her, pulling her legs back, stacking her. Cover now, a body on body pin. Oh, I bet that referee likes that. I'm joking. Ooh. Nice snap suplex right there by Van. Really late in there. Once again, working that upper back. Now, do you think should she have gone for a cover right there? I think now she's in control. She's thinking, hey, think I'm going to administer some more punishment. Ooh. Ooh, second one. And those hurt. Those don't feel good. And see, it does, it's still smaller on behalf because of the fact that she keeps on laying those snap two plexes in. It doesn't give her time to recover to be able to kick yeah. out. But again, you got to have to go for covers. You can't allow her to gain her time like this. And now she's fighting back. Nope. Yeah. Oh, beautiful right there. Cover two. Oh. Into a blue thunderbomb variation. I thought that was it. Yeah, she countered out of the suplex and wrapped her up in that blue thunder. Man, that was incredible. It's like, like a green thunder bomb. You know, she's going green. Nice. And once again, Vanity smart. Yes. Working that upper back of JC Storm. She's got her locked in. Essentially a, a version of a seated abdominal right there. Oh, uh, JC Storm fighting back. Trying to use all her momentum. Oh, big forearm. Russell Bay feeling it. She's hurting. Oh, Ooh, huge uppercut. Puts her off for another oh, one. Oh, hit the buckle, then got hit. Like a double whammy right there. JC Storm, she's building the storm. Ooh, roll through. It. With a big strike. Mm. Laying those big forearms into vanity. Series of strikes. She's Send off. off. Oh, she held on. Counter. Tilt a whirl. Oh, oh nice. Huge. She's building up the storm. Man, this has been a fun back and forth matchup right here. Uh oh. Record. Oh, got her planted. That could be it. Here we go. Cover Is one. That it? one two. two. Oh, oh, man. Two and a half. You can see. hear the disbelief from the fans. She would have had it had she been able to like actually pin down the shoulders, not just trying to use your upper body and just hooking that leg. Oh! Oh, she might have caught her head on the right. post. <laughs> That's just insult to injury right there. She just she could have split her head open. 
And I'm proud of you for actually saying that. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I kept. Hey, I'm doing good. <laughs> oh. She said what? She said cookie cutter. Uh uh. Cookie oh. cutter. Like is she going for like? Oh, oh. good. Okay. I, uh -oh. That ain't a cookie cutter. Uh -oh. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Yes. No. Ugh, what kind of cookies are you on? <laughs> Chocolate chip don't make you do that to people. Mm. Every fight, man. Yeah, get that chair out of there. Oh, mm, can you use the chair? Oh! oh! Very smart on, on Vanity's part. Cover one, two, three. Oh! Oh, you hate to see it like in like that. Exactly. Titlematchnetwork.com. I'd like to welcome you both to this singles match for the vacant Battle Club Icons Championship. Introducing first to the corner to my left. She is sponsored by For the Win. She is from the stars in your eyes and the criticism. In your heart, your favorite girls win. Cosmic, Cosmic. She is sponsored by Tacoma Podcast. Thing out of Washington D.C. This is the Afro Pub Twitch. Adora! These two ladies are gonna go at it. Both this of them could fight, both of them could technically wrestle. Trisha Dora, look at the look on Trisha's face. This is gonna be so the last time we were here, Trisha Dora almost snatched her words. The title from Big Swole. She's back now fighting for the vacant Icons Championship. Oh, some showmanship here. Don't trust her, Cosmic. Can't trust her. There we go. Probably put poison. Great sportsmanship. Probably poison on her hand. No, no, no. Out of the way, Dunberger. Lock up. Working the lock up. Go behind by Cosmic. crowd seems to be behind Cosmic, which is crazy because the Battle Club Pro crowd has always been universally pro Trisha Dora. Not when Look at everybody's the underhook. favorite takes over. Hammerlock. Now they reverse the Hammerlock. Trisha's got her own front chancery. A roll up, roll up, roll up. Kick out. Not going to be enough to catch Cosmic off guard. Keeping it level, no, seemingly no animosity. These ladies just want to win this match. You know, you got to wonder about the relationship between Cosmic and Rembrandt still. Rembrandt walked off with Federated last time we were here, and you haven't really seen them together. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, I don't know. I wonder, yeah. wonder which side are favorite. Fireman's carry, take over, has the arm bar now. I mean, we could ask Mr. Martinez, but he got From what I understand, oh, look at this. Now she's got another arm bar. She tried to roll out, and she stuck with it. From what I understand, they still have a kinship, but Rembrandt moved over and, and defected over to Federated for opportunities for himself. Um, I can't fault him. It, it sucks losing another fallout kid to Federated, but you got to do what's best for you in this business. What's best for Cosmic right now is to take it to Trisha Dora. Look at this. The chain wrestling. They're going back and forth. Arm ringers. Look at the aggression from just simple arm ringers. The gear Cosmic has is gorgeous. A simple, uh, it's soft too. It's velvet. Yeah, it looks like, oh, wow. It's like velvet. Yeah, it, look, it looks like the universe. It looks like the sky in the universe. Eating that canvas. That arm rigger and then dragged her down face first. Snapmare takeover. Oh, kick to the arm. Oh, kick to the shoulder. Oh, Trisha Dora using those feet. Oh, he's looking for that deadlift German. Oh, cover. 
kick out. That's what happens when you do wrestle look at this, as look at much. This. Trying to get a triangle, the body scissors. When you wrestle as much as Trisha Dora, Cosmic was able to watch those matches. Yeah, you, and she's you, able to prepare. You can bet Cosmic studied Trisha Dora, her every move. However, Cosmic, oh, still fairly new to the game, yeah, she is, is still working on her craft. Just over, just surpassed her rookie, her official rookie year. But she's been training with Rembrandt still, training with Santi at the fallout. I mean, you do talk, wow, she knocked, she knocked the hair tie out of her head. You know, I would say last oh, year. Oh, gosh. Last year, Mr. Anthony Gamble was this fallout shelter standout. I'm going to try, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 2023 Cosmic is, year, is the year of Cosmic. Look at the strength. I think 2023 is going to be the year of the icons in the fallout. Sammy Chaos, Jordy Lee, Cosmic. Mostly Cosmo. Oh, goodness. Uh, maybe Trish. on that chop. Maybe Trish. Maybe Trish. Spice Spiegel. Hard Irish root to the corner. I have never seen Trisha Dora look so angry before. I, she I think, I think like she, she was, might be thrown off a bit, and we, it might make her angry that the crowd isn't pro Trisha she's Dora. Not, she's not used to she's being not. Rude. She's universally cheered whenever she's worked right. with us. Woman, you got to embrace it. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> that's what Elliot, uh, excuse me, that's what Mr. Martinez says in Federated. Do I have to watch you too? I mean, you know what the rest part? When I was up on top of the apron, I could see his bald spot. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Irish whip, reversal. Oh God, another Cosmic strong hit one. hard. Here comes oh. Trish. Body splash. Cosmic looks out of it already. This might be Cosmic's toughest opponent to date. Oh, he's got her up. Is she looking for that? Oh my goodness. Is she gonna, what the heck's gonna happen she here? She's paralyzer or something. Oh goodness, she's stretching her, an abdominal stretch. Trying to tap good out Lord, Cosmic. look at this. That can't feel good. How is she doing that? How is, not only how is she doing that, how is Cosmic not tapping out right now? I, I don't know if she can. Oh wait, Cosmic rolled out. Oh, into the corner. Looks like Cosmic doesn't have the energy oh, to follow arm. up. Cut her off. And another. Ducks. Oh, over the moon exploder. What a wonderful suplex that was. Here comes Cosmic. Oh, that knee. Oh. Make sure she fixes her hair. Oh! German, no! Oh, oh. good! Deadlift, deadlifter! Just Cosmic, kicked out. Cosmic did everything she could to get out of that, but Trish just muscled her over. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, she's looking for Larry Tubman. Is that what that means? Something different in my neighborhood. Oh, face buster! Cover! Cover! Oh, just uh, kicked out. I thought we had our new champion right there. Cosmic now, she needs to keep on top of Trish Dora while she has Trish right where she wants her. Double underhook. Looking for some kind of butterfly. Sweep the legs out from under. Oh, goodness. Stump color. Oh, look, Cosmic right into a screw space. Come on, Dumberger. Oh, good. Wow. Jesus. Just wiped her out with that bicycle kick. Oh, Zeton. You know, Trish Adora, known for her mat based grappling, she's just throwing some. Oh, the great right twist face. Oh, this time Trish ducks under. Waist lock. Works under now. Cosmic has her own. Oh, rebound German of her own! Count it! Kick out. Look at this. Trisha Dora doesn't know what hit her right now. Oh, Larry Tubman! I know what hit Cosmic, though. 
That is it. We've got a new champion. Oh, foot's on the rope! I thought that was over. She hit her with Larry and Tubman. It was too close to the ropes. Just a two count. Says Ref Van Dam. No, no. Steve Dumain. That's what I said. Oh, what's this? Oh! Carter into that boss man type slam. Another pin. Oh, she got it on the crucifix. Cosmic doing everything she can to catch Trish off guard. Oh, forearm. Trish is throwing bows. Oh. Whoa. Trying for that deadlift again. Oh. Oh, she's looking for that unique Michinoku driver. That's it. Oh, Trish kicked out. What a fight we got here. This Brooklyn crowd really appreciates what these two competitors are doing right now. Oh, she looked for that crescent kick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did she duck? She gl glanced her. Trish Adore knows that when she sees her opponent down, the best thing to do is go oh, for a cover. Crucifix. Cosmic trying to get her over. She did. Oh, she did Cosmic won. She did it. Break the bell, asshole! The winner of this match and new Battle Club Icons Champion, your favorite, Cosmic! Cosmic did it! Cosmic has taken down Trish Adora, and she is your new Battle Club Icons Champion. Your Fallout representative. 2023 Year of Cosmic, and it starts tonight here in Brooklyn, New York. January 21st, 2023, mark it on your calendars, day one of the Reign of Cosmic. Oh, Kenji Page not waiting for the bell to start, attacking Deanna Perrazzo right from the get-go. Kenzie as vicious as they come, as hard hitting as they come, not wasting any time whatsoever taking this assault. We go Kenzie with the head. Oh, and the suplex. Hashtag baby on the outside. Seems like she's uh, rather enjoying this so far. Oh, and to the turnbuckle. Yeah. Referee Casey Dillon trying to lay down the law. Kenzie, though, uh, going to make use of this five count back in the ring. Oh, what a kick to the back there. Deanna Perrazzo, uh, I'm not sure if she was expecting this kind of start to the match. Obviously, you know, Kenzie's not someone to look over. And I'm sure Deanna knew what she was getting into as far as competition, but I don't know if she was quite expecting to be jumped right before the bell. Oh, and to the apron. Of course, as we've all heard many times before, that is the hardest part of the ring. Oh, 
shot from Kenzie Page. Deanna looking to get a bit of a breather here. Kenzie rolling in to break the count. Not going to let that happen. Staying right on her. But Deanna with a right of her own. Deanna going to use this time here. Try to get back some sort of rhythm. But Kenzie, though, firing back. Both women trying to get some momentum here. Uh, oh, Deanna driven into that apron. Again, Kenzie breaking the count at the count of eight. Wanted to stay on the outside. Oh! Guarantee she didn't want that chop, though. And Deanna with a headshot to the apron of her own. These fans getting up close and personal with Kenzie Page. Both competitors back in the ring. Oh! Vicious Lariat. Kenzie, though, uh, might want to stay focused on Deanna taking a little bit of time to interact with the fans here. It's been one heck of a show so far. And this main event delivering... Laying down the law again. Baby getting uh, getting a little word in there with Deanna. I'm not sure if I would be within arm's length of Deanna Perazzo. Oh, sickening thud. Oh, swing and a miss, but Deanna connects. Deanna right on the target, sending Kenzie into the turnbuckle. Oh, charging in, but eats an elbow. Kenzie as confident as ever, though. And right now, she's got control of Deanna Perrazzo. But Deanna back in the ring, eats a kick. Going right after that midsection here. Deanna trying to get back on her feet. Oh, and Kenzie wipes the feet on her. Again, targeting that midsection with these kicks. Kenzie, and again with the choke. Using all of that five count that she can. Deanna looking uh, worse for wear here. Oh, but she's firing back. Deanna with some rights. Got her hooked. Going for the suplex, but again, that midsection. Oh, and Kenzie with the reversal, hitting a suplex of her own. Oh. I mean, can't argue there. But only a two count. Kenzie got to stay on top of Deanna, though. No time for showboating here because Deanna, at any moment, will seize that opportunity. Ooh. Again, another choke from Kenzie Page. Not satisfied with just winning this match. Wants to choke the life out of her opponent. The crowd letting Kenzie hear it. Not happy with Kenzie's tactics here. Oh, and Deanna's heard enough. Deanna firing back. Chop after chop. Now with that spinning back kick off the ropes. Oh, what a knee from Deanna. 
And the Virtuoso with a leg sweep. Rolling through. Oh! The Fujiwara! The Fujiwara! This is it! No, but Kinsey rolls through. Big boot! Going for the pin! Oh, so close, but only a two for the Virtuosa. Somehow, some way, Kinsey Page staying alive in this. Deanna, though, looking a little frustrated. Lining up Kinsey, got her in that fireman's carry position. Kinsey slipping out. Oh, and a super kick. Deanna knocked a bit loopy here. But not enough. Kinsey staying right on her, going for that dragon sleeper. Baby on the outside cheering on Kinsey. Oh, Deanna with a bit of hair there. Doing what she can to try to get out of this maneuver. A deadly, deadly hold here. Looks like Deanna's fading a bit here. Oh, she's stirring. Deanna's got that arm. Kenji's got to watch out. Referee Casey backing up the Virtuosa here. Break her arm chance from the crowd here. This crowd wants to see some bloodshed. And back to square one, both women, both competitors on the floor. Wing. The wheels are turning. Trading blows. Who is going to get the better of this exchange? Both women to their feet. Kenzie, though, with the right. Deanna with one of her own. And here we go. This is exactly what we were expecting from this main event. Two of the best in the world trading blows. The crowd now gathered around the ring. It's clear who the crowd is behind here now. Oh, but baby! Baby making her presence felt. Oh, Kenzie with the roll through. Oh! With the cutter! One, two, oh! Deanna Perazzo somehow kicked out! You hear it right there from the crowd, and I can't agree more. Somehow, Deanna Perazzo kicked out of that cutter. Kenzie Page has put away so many competitors with that move. Got her set up. Looks to be going for a pile driver. Oh, but Deanna's got the arm. She's got the arm. Fujiwara. Fujiwara. Oh, but Kenzie rolls through. Deanna, though, great ring presence. Knows exactly where she is. Grabs that rope, but... Oh, going again! She's locked both arms! Nowhere to go for Kenzie! And that's it! Kenzie Page is tapped out! And your winner of tonight's main event, Diana Purrazzo!
but what a match. Deanna and Kenzie both giving it their all. Deanna walking away the victor on this night though. What an incredible night, folks. TitleMatchNetwork.com Ever the fighting champion knew that Scorpio season would not be able to defend those titles. Had to relinquish, but it didn't mean that Jordan Blade couldn't get in on some action here. Survival of the fittest, it looks like it's going to be Milo Grace and Laney Luck starting it out. A little bit of debate. Jordan Blade was getting some accolades from the crowd here. But it's going to be two legal competitors at a time. Tags are legal. We also have some lucha rules. So if either of these competitors were to roll out of the ring, new competitors could take their place. This is an elimination bout. Of course, you've got to keep your head on a swivel no matter what. You have someone in every corner. Myla Grace now starting it out, not only making her CCW debut, but her debut in the US. So a lot riding on this. Cartwheeling through is Laney Luck. Lady Luck, who's riding her own high, recently was married, came back from her honeymoon, feeling uh, really refreshed, said everything in life is really great right now. She is in there on an adrenaline rush on top of this being her zone. And imagine, too, the uh, adrenaline rush of being able to walk out of CCW as the number one contender of the network championship. Now taking down the shoulders of Myla Grace, Grace rolls out. Walk out the little contender. It's like a nice cherry on top of like a Sunday of everything she's got going on. No doubt about that. Sizing up one another, going for that rear waist lock is Myla Grace. Laney now shimmying her way out, breaking the hold. Is that flossing? Is that what that's called? I think that is. Okay, thank you. Oh, is Myla Grace? Myla Grace likes to party. Myla and Laney on the same page, but that same page is also wanting to walk out of here, the number one contender. So we're gonna see how that kind of factors for both of them. But definitely some similar energies vibing with one another. Got that positive vibe going on, look at that. Look like Jordan Blade and Notorious Mimi were also getting in on some of the good vibrations. But again, definitely, maybe this is part of the feeling out period for, for both competitors, getting a sense of one another. What are you gonna do with that energy? There you go, you're gonna send it right back. I, this is the tag team I didn't know I needed. I mean, we could oh, really look at a future tag team. Mimi's in the corner, she's not even in on it, and she's still hitting it though. Good vibrations are contagious, but there is no tag team competition in this matchup. It is every competitor for themselves. The Capital Cup is coming up July 15th, so stay tuned for that. Brittany Blake looking rather nonplussed with this whole affair. As infectious as this energy is, there can only be one winner in this matchup. No doubt about it. And, and that's just the thing is that multi-person competition can be very different. Sometimes it can work to your advantage. You might be able to have someone eliminate someone that you want to get rid of. But at the end of the day, it is elimination style, so you just got to protect yourself at all costs. Slug and forearm doubles over Laney Luck, sweeps the legs out from underneath. Myla Grace now bounding off the ropes. Low drop kick. Sends Laney Luck down, hooks the leg to Myla Grace. Only a two count. But Myla undeterred, staying right on top of Laney Luck. Again, I think that's smart for Myla to do, knowing that this is kind of Tag. lane, if you will. I feel like it's smart to kind of stay up on her and make sure she doesn't get the upper hand. But now it is Brittany Blake, the legal competitor. imparting more damage on Myla Grace and flipping over Myla. Wow, sending Laney Luck flying with the head scissors. Opportunistic of Laney, or of Brittany Blake. Laney with that 
we also got to take into account with Brittany that she did just get attacked. She's not fresh. I don't think she was ready to get in there just yet. I think that she was trying to capitalize off of an opportunity that she saw. Now off the ropes. Tilt and whirl into a back breaker. And now a tag made from Jordan Blade. Former tag champion. Oh, and Brittany Blake wants uh, out. Uh, nope, she's, she's right out of here. Brittany knows exactly what Jordan can do, and she did come out not as fresh as the other competitors. She knew, let me just take a little moment and roll out of the ring. But now ultraviolet, no stranger to gold, current women's champion at House of Glory. Oh. Winding her way around the BJJ specialist, Jordan Blade takes her down to the mat, but that's a dangerous place to be with Jordan Blade is on the mat. Sweeps into a cover. Not quite. And how much more do you think ire and, and piss and vinegar is coursing through the, the blood of Jordan Blade knowing that she just had to relinquish those titles? Oh God, they all need to be on watch. Genuinely, cover. They all need to be on watch with Jordan. There's nothing Jordan won't do to get this win tonight. After she just had to relinquish her title, she's going to be making a statement. No doubt about it. But now Violet with her own oh. statement that she's trying to make Oh, changes course. Gets the shoulders down, only a two count. Ultraviolet, who had an incredible matchup against her mentor, Sumi Sakai. Jackknife cover from Jordan Blade. Scrambling over now, seeking to switch up her positioning. Oh, God, dodges that back elbow and turn around, oh. fair play. Sizing each other up. This is definitely a one on one that I would like to see, but again. So many more factors at play in this matchup. They're sizing each other up, but I've also seen some mutual respect happening between the two of them. Now a tag made from Notorious Mimi, oh. who wants a piece of Jordan Blade. The fiery one looking to make her first win in CCW. Certainly, and if, if ever there were something to prove, Notorious Mimi has got it. And what better way to prove your worth, prove that you belong, prove that you're part of this locker room than to come out as the network champion, number one contender, only a two count. The pro wrestling's angel. Jordan Blade staggering to her feet, dropped toe hold. Mimi now off the ropes. The Tiger faint kick connects. Oh, but come on, Brittany Blake. This is what I mean, so quick to capitalize. Now looking to, oh no, wait a second. Oh, got a Tiger Fane kick of her own. I thought that Brittany Blake was gonna try and pick the bones of Jordan Blade. Oh, I think, oh! I think Brittany knew that she couldn't go after Jordan. She waited to Mimi was a little distracted and went after somebody who wasn't, kind of like she did with Kyla. No doubt about it. Ever the opportunistic one is Brittany Blake and now it's Myla Grace and Ultraviolet. Slugging it out. Violet shrugs her off, and now Myla Grace bounding through. Lays out Ultra Violet. Bounding back up to her feet. Violet gets the, the boots up, but now, oh no, a jump across the back. Closes that distance. He's colliding with the midsection, and Laney Luck wipes out Myla Grace. Laney with a step up, and Zagiri right to the back of the skull. I think this speaks to Laney that she kind of waited outside a little bit, kind of caught her breath, and came back in a little more fresher and used that to her advantage. Oh, double knees from Laney Luck! But you are so right, Katrina. Oh, a clever competitor. Brittany wants none of it. Myla Grace now. Oh. Springing off that middle row, oh. takes out Laney, Ultraviolet, and I think with Brittany Blake in the process as well. A great reception here for the U.S. debut of Myla Grace here at Hashtag CCW Flatline. The audience is definitely behind Myla. She's feeling the energy from the crowd. But looking to put a stop to all that good energy is Brittany Blake. But hold on, Brittany Blake running right into Jordan Blade. Dumps her with the suplex. But Jordan Blade got throws for days. Jordan looking to clean house at this point. 
We have yet to see an elimination in this contest. Every competitor, any of these competitors could walk out of here as the number one contender at this stage in the game, but Laney with the Casadora, hold on. Jordan Blades got her. Jordan absolutely dominating with these throws. Just, you get a throw, you get a throw, just like Oprah. Throws for everyone. Yeah, look at that. So generous of her, really. But an incredible, emphatic kick out from Laney Luck, who I thought that that could have been our first elimination. But no, there's still so much fight. It's gonna take a lot more than that to take her out. Like a fly in Brittany Blake, perhaps. That guttural cry, member of the Awakening. Oh, oh the DDT. And Laney Luck. Oh! Uh. The back fist and the airy crash. but not opting for that cover. Maybe a Ultraviolet not wanting to waste any time, but now in comes Myla Grace. I wonder if Ultraviolet not going for the cover will come to bite her later on. Because Brittany's kind of sneaky and she's been sneaking in and out. That might have been a, you know, not a smart idea. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now Laney Luck, oh my goodness, hooking the uh, arms. Oh. oh, planting Myla Grace. Could this be our first elimination? Oh. No, Myla kicks out. No, you gotta give it to all of these women. They're giving it their all. And now, yeah, soaring with her whole body flying. Oh. An angel that flew without wings just then. But now face first to the mat here at the Monster Factory. The place that she has called home. Oh, and set right into those familiar turnbuckles is Notorious Mimi. Lainey is showing why she is good at these kind of matches. She's, you know, she had her moments where it wasn't as great as far as momentum, but every time she comes back, it's like she gets it right back on her side. And now with looking to eliminate Ultraviolet, but not enough. Dodges the kick and Ultraviolet sweeps back Lainey Luck. Only a two count. Catches the blow and looks to capitalize. Oh, stunner. Now she's got her on the shoulders. But Ultraviolet shrugs away off the UVB connects. The cover from Ultraviolet, our first elimination. I'm actually very surprised that she's the first elimination considering this is more like her home ground. It's her element, she said. Yeah, I mean. I think it speaks to uh -oh. the opponents of how much they really want this number one contendership. No doubt about it. Ultraviolet, who has proved herself time and again here at CCW. Fisherman suplex from Jordan Blade. Jordan is just a dominant force. She's in there. Oh, God, no. Oh, Incredible. Oh. Seamless transition into the choke. Is Ultraviolet going to tap out? Oh. But instead gets the shoulders down. Jordan Blade forced to kick out. Absolutely impressive. But that high kick, that could be curtains for Ultraviolet. But instead, Brittany Blake... Able to be the legal competitor after Ultraviolet rolled out. Now the shoulders are down of Jordan Blade. Blade for, oh, oh no. Oh. Driving the knee is Brittany Blake. Blake positioning Jordan Blade. Oh, the double stomped to a former CCW Tag Team Champ. Oh. Jordan Blade is out. Oh, my God. oh wow. I did not expect that. Definitely didn't Brittany expect that. Brittany just took out Jordan. I think it was smart on Brittany out of the group. Jordan seemed like the most toughest opponent for her, so she got rid of that. I feel Brittany just capitalized on a moment. That was about it. Oh, the leg drop across the back of the skull. The cover from Myla Grace, and Brittany Blake is out. Uh, just that quickly. Yeah, fans here definitely voicing their displeasure after Jordan Blade was eliminated, but now Notorious oh. Mimi sweeps up Myla Grace, plants her body, no. Notorious Mimi, so much history for her in this building. Floats over the pin. Mimi kicks out. Nice little back and forth between these ladies. Showing off that strength is Mimi, but Myla Grace changing the position, gets the shoulders down. Oh. Now back and forth, jockeying for position. Myla. Mimi. Oh, oh. what? Oh. oh, I thought that could have been it, sitting deeper into the pin. Oh, sweeps the legs out from underneath, and now the cover, but Bridges oh. outdoes Myla. Myla showing that athleticism. Swings the shoulders down, but Mimi rolls out. 
Now driving the shoulders down. Looking for, oh no, rolling all the way into a cover. Shoulders down only momentarily. Oh wait, oh. between the legs and now sending Mimi down. Quick kick from Mila Grace. Bounce off the rope, spinning. Oh. It was split leg cover. Only a two count. That was a nice little display from Myla right there. She's showing the American audience just what she can do. Great place to do it here at CCW. Better way to do it is to come out the number one contender for the network championship. Ultraviolet still legal in this matchup. Oh. Leg drop across the back of the neck. and Oh, but very wisely, Ultraviolet rolls all the way out of ringside. No longer a legal competitor. And it's Mimi that waits for oh. Myla Grace. Wait. One, two, three. Oh. oh. Wow, incredible cover. Weaving her whole body around, almost folding Myla in half so that she could not kick out. And it comes down to Mimi and Ultraviolet here in Survival of the Fittest. Did either of you think that these were the two ladies that were going to be at the end, really? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like Mimi has something to prove, but I am surprised that Jordan got out as quick. And as Lainey, who, again, this was her match, the one that she says she's the queen of, you know? And so definitely think Mimi is trying to prove something, especially at her own And looking to prove something with that big boot, the cover to Ultraviolet. Violet, though, kicks out. And I think that when you look at the, just kind of the playing field of this matchup, it really could be anyone's game as now. Yes. Ultraviolet sweeps Mimi down. Oh, into that submission predicament. Are we going to see another tap tonight? No, Mimi, though, has enough nice. wherewithal to shift the shoulders back and force the break. Dodges the kick, does Ultraviolet. Rear waist lock trying to take Mimi off her feet. Picks the leg from beneath. Now Mimi off the ropes. Diving with almost a leg lariat. Now hooking the leg. Ultraviolet. Emphatic kick out. But nowhere to go with these final two competitors. Oh, oh, okay. Wrenching back on the arm. Trying to separate it from the shoulder. Mimi no oh. way. Look how deep the torque. Oh. Over the shoulders are down of Mimi. Nice reversal there from Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet dodges the blow. UVB connects once more. Will it secure her victory? Not enough. Not if Mimi has anything to say about it. Mimi's not willing to give this up. Mimi looking like for that first win, like you had said, Tiffany, and looking to make it in a major way. Up. Oh. What better way to make your first win by becoming a normal cont contender? Exactly. That is what makes you an oh. undeniable force. A straight shot to the cheek. And that is oh. it. It's notorious <laughs> Mimi. TitleMatchNetwork.com Last time we saw Super Oprah was at Rise of the Vixens 2. So it's been a little while. It'll be interesting to see what we can expect out of Super Oprah here tonight. You want to check me? You want to check me first? Super Oprah seeming to take offense to Isaac trying to do his job. Little flourish by Phoebe. Amaris, you know a little bit about pageantry. I do, I do. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Trying to make sure Isaac checks thoroughly. Uh, Super Oprah definitely giving us a show. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and that one just cost us some hazard pay for referee Isaac. And that was a show. Oh, oh. Wow. Y'all going to have to pay Isaac a little more yeah. for these types of matches. Come on now. Isaac is really getting abused here, and the match hasn't even started. We haven't even had this a bell This is the beginning ring. of the show. We got a whole show to go. Ooh. And there is the bell. This should definitely be a show, ladies and gentlemen. 
You don't get anything less when you get Super Oprah in the ring. Super Oprah getting this crowd hyped up. You know, it's not often that I'm at a loss for words behind a commentary microphone, but Super Oprah just tends to have that effect. As they go into a lockup, and Super Oprah trying to ragdoll Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe trying to do the same. I'm not sure that'll work out for her. Well, you have to wonder what kind of... What kind of strategy would even be effective against someone like Super Oprah? Like, I mean, I don't have the mind for... I'm not a ring general in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Amorous, what what do you do when faced with an opponent like Super Oprah? What goes through your mind? Um, it's kind of scary. I've been in a couple of matches where uh, my opponent was way bigger than me, and I just tried my best, and I really took a beating. So, I mean, just got to do whatever works, you know? And I think that's exactly what Phoebe knows, is that she's just got to do whatever works. It's just finding Super whatever works. Oprah, wor calling for a test of strength. Oh. A test of strength and also uh, just an agility exercise on the part of Phoebe. So let's check that vertical leap. Impressive. I think uh, Phoebe's been practicing her box jumps. She's a good athlete. She's definitely doing her work in the gym. Oh, Phoebe, definitely a top-tier athlete. Spoke to her a little bit before the show, and she's been training in professional-style boxing. Her cardio is better than it's ever been. We'll see if that helps her out against Super Oprah. Oh, wow. Burying Phoebe's face into her chest. Very disrespectful of Super Oprah to do. Very well, funny, but very disrespectful. Of course, of course. True. Well, Super Oprah gets in that ring, and you have to wonder, is there anybody who can play better mind games than Super Oprah? The answer seems to be no. That's true. Stop talking! Oh, little aggression from Phoebe. Might be the smart move here. Oh, sending Super Oprah outside the ring. Phoebe using Super Oprah's own momentum against her here. Goes back to what Amherst was saying, doing what works, looking yeah. for an opening. You've got to figure out how to, how to beat him. Anything small that you can figure out. Anything to win. Yep. You know, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a wrestling match or a beauty pageant, you just do what you've got to do. That's true. Reversal after reversal here. Oh. oh! And that's solid steel connecting with flesh and bone. That might have moved the ring a little bit. Well, we're definitely going to have to plan an intermission on this show to move that thing back into place. As Phoebe looks to be... I don't want to say taking control, but she goes for a cover. It's a two count on Super Oprah. Now the question is, can she keep it up? As she tries to wrench those arms right out of place. I think she's just slowly, slowly wearing her down, and that's, that's what works. Yeah, you can't expect to chop down a tree in one strike every single time. Sometimes it's the thousand cuts that bleeds the most as Phoebe lays in some strikes. I think if she can keep her down, uh, she has a good chance of winning. And there you go. Once again, into a cover. She can't let you can't let desperation and frustration set in, though. I can see it on her face. A little bit of a hip check from Phoebe. That'll give you a whiplash. 
That is right. And now, once again, going for a submission. Amherst, you said you've been in the ring with larger, stronger opponents. Whenever you're in the ring with someone who's, you know, got that definite size advantage, is it the first thing that goes through your mind thinking, you know, they're bigger than me, I'm smaller, I don't have that weight advantage. Is it smarter to go for a submission rather than trying to apply your own weight for a pin? Is that something that runs through your head when you're in a match like this? Oh, definitely. If you can just, like, you know, hook them any way you can, it definitely makes more sense, and it's easier than to just get them down for a pin. Well, we talk about momentum. You talk about using the velocity of your opponent against them. Phoebe is definitely learning as this match goes on that Super Oprah is going to go full bore, and she can take advantage of that as she lays in. One hell of a chop. And another. And now those strikes. Phoebe really impressing here. Phoebe's definitely playing the right game, for sure. Going for the cover. One, two, and Super Oprah kicks out. Again, a definite size advantage on the part of Super Oprah is going to make Phoebe work harder for that victory. As I said, this is the first time we've seen uh, Phoebe come to BWR, returning to Texas. We, I'm very familiar with Phoebe's work as a tag team specialist, so this is one of the first few times I've seen her working in singles action. And what? Oh! oh. Pop what an exhibition as she is planted! Center of the ring, Isaac wisely checking on Phoebe. Oh! oh. And the fans getting some very special one-of-a-kind souvenirs. Super Oprah means business now. Oh. Super Oprah looking to cave in a chest with that massive chop. Oh no. Oh no. Phoebe in a very precarious position. Oh no. Super Oprah Talk going about to those the hip attacks earlier given causing whiplash. Well, Super Oprah knows and has her bag of tricks that she'll go to regularly and now not even a very confident cover. That's exactly how Super Oprah views this match against Phoebe. And now locking in, cinching in. Trying to drive the air out of the diaphragm of Phoebe there. And a smart move, like you said, Phoebe's been working on her cardio. You can't, you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. That's true. Can't do a whole lot of anything if you can't breathe. That's true. And Super Oprah, for as much fun and as much as she brings the shenanigans to that ring, she is also very smart whenever she steps between those ropes. Knows exactly what she needs to do with every competitor. Oh. As Phoebe, Phoebe almost snuck out a victory there, able to roll back and get Super Oprah's shoulders to the mat. Tried a wise decision, force a uh, pinning predicament, forcing that break. I don't know what a wise decision that slap was, and now we're in an exchange of blows. Phoebe down to one knee. She's staggered. Phoebe working super over into the corner. Now Phoebe taken down with a chop. Super Oprah sometimes hits harder than tequila at 2 a.m. And Phoebe understands that now. Super Oprah looking to go use the ropes. She could be going for that Oprah bomb. 
wisely moving out of the way. Now Phoebe attacking the arm. Magnificent maneuver there. Into the cover. One, two, three. And Phoebe's pulled out the win. I cannot believe it. Introducing first from Sydney, Australia. She stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighs in at 85 kilos, and she is the Python powerhouse. This is Steph Dunder! <laughs> and introducing her opponent, buzzing in from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, she is the city's own Danny. Danny B, Oklahoma City Zone. And introducing your opponent from someplace very cold. She is the coolest wrestler you will ever meet. The reigning and defending pro women's champion, Lady. saying just ridiculous comments from Steph to Lander and then Danny B and Lady Frost rightfully so bringing the aggression right away to Steph to Lander. This is a triple threat match for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship and the bigger powerful Steph to Lander just taking out both Danny B and our Hurricane Pro Women's Champion Lady Frost. Steph to Lander the social media darling returning to independent wrestling here as you saw that brash attitude that she just put on full display, now putting on the power display, Steph weaseling her way into this championship match. Danny B became the number one contender at our last event. She earned a one-on-one -on -one contest until Steph Lander demanded her inclusion in this match tonight. And of course, being the competitor that she is, Danny B said she'll fight both of these women. It doesn't matter to her. So how's, that's how we ended up here. We got triple threat rules. Lady Frost, our defending champion, getting the fight brought to her by Steph Delander on the outside, but just Lady Frost sending Steph Delander right into the ring post on the outside here. Again, triple threat rules, no disqualification, no count outs. One fall to a finish, first person to get a pinfall submission has become champion, and Danny B looking maybe go for baseball, like colliding right into Lady Frost, who comes back in, goes for the cover, got a one count. Lady Frost has been tearing it up in Impact Wrestling, returning here to Beaumont, Texas, to defend the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Not gonna be an easy defense. She gets two feet right to the face from Danny B. Cover! Two count own from the Oklahoma City proud Danny B. And side suplex. Great technique. Again, cover here from Danny B. We know we're going to be seeing soon with the women of wrestling. And wow. She's going to wow a lot of fans here in Fort Park and she's able to walk away as the new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Danny B looking to build some momentum here. But Step to Lander waiting and takes down Danny B. God, Step to Lander just outsizing both the champion and Danny B. There's Lady Plus using that technique. Um, victory roll here. Got a two count only. This is the champion. God, since 
The social media darling face first. God use the assist into a drop kick into Danny B. Oh, a big spinning kick. Lady Frost with that Muay Thai background, the former gymnast showing off that athleticism here. Now wait, Danny B and both Seth Delander both down in the corner. And there's the snowball fight, that big cannonball in the corner. Cover on to Danny B. Seth Delander trying to break it up, but Lady Frost able to get out and go for a cover. Why the hell not? Got a two count only. And now all three ladies are down. The Hurricane Pro Women's Championship on the line here. The champion Lady Frost. The challenger Steph Delander making her debut here at Hurricane Pro. What a story it would be for the lady from Australia to walk away the new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. And of course Danny B, Oklahoma City Zone. The first African-American wrestling women's champion in the state of Oklahoma. Is she gonna be making a permanent residency here in Texas? Codebreaker connects, knees right to the face. Except to Lander, and again, broken up by Lady Frost. Now these triple threat matches are so hard to maneuver just when you think you got one of your opponents down. It gives the assist to the other. God, Lady Frost, that might be it. Now and again, Step to Lander breaks up the pinfall. You gotta keep eyes in the back of your head just when you have one of your opponents down, the other one has enough time to recover and break up the pin. Again, step to lander, cover. A kick out from our champion, Lady Frost. The best women's wrestling is right here on Title Match Network. You see the bigger, stronger. Step to lander is folding up Danny B with the German. Lady Frost with the German of her own. non-stop offense here. Now Lady putting Delander in position, going up top, looking for that temperature drop. If this connects, it's gonna be all over. Danny B. Wisely gets in position to stop that from happening. Again, first person to get a pinfall here or submission will be the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Got Danny B up in the Samoan position of Fireman Carey. Oh, so is Lady Frost. Got the strength of Steph Delander. Both women on her shoulders. God. Danny B wiping out Lady Frost. Going for that Thunderstruck DDT. Sends Steph Delander to the outside. It's that strength to take down Lady Frost. God. Is it enough? Is it enough? It is! It's enough! New champion! This was just non-stop offense. A real pick'em. Danny B is your new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion.